this inspiration and this idea has been brewing for some time now and today is day one no idea if it's going to work and we double check we got the correct crampons the correct skins and everything yesterday you did? yeah in my head in my head here's my uh, oh, worst here's I got here's skins here's my like sunny one ah it's not as stylish as mine no? I'll try mine on see what you think it's got a bit better smell to you <laughs> after this trip you're going to start buying M&M's uh, Since they don't freeze, are you filming right now? What, what mountain we're at the top of? We're not. We're not at the top yet. <laughs> we're not. We're at Jungfrau Jok. Jungfrau Jok. Yeah. Do you know the altitude? Uh, 3,460. 3,460. Ish. Ish, yeah. Ish there. Yeah. That's alright, I'll lay off. At this point, it's just guesswork really. I know that I'm really inspired to paint the glass here and try and capture this immense delicacy and power at the same time. But what we don't know is whether we can get to a spot that's safe to paint from. Never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I bring you. Drop it. Yeah. Right now we've arrived at the bottom of some okay. um, seracs, which is where the glacier comes out of the okay. snow or it cracks up and get crevasses and um, basically the, the terrain is a lot more risky so now Robert's explaining to me how we should put our skins on. The technique is to take off one ski at a time and keep your weight on the ski that's on the floor so that at no point do you risk putting uh, pressure on a small area of snow and falling down into what might be a crevasse below you. Rumours, rumours say... We check that up before. Your feet swell at altitude, don't they? Or is that just, am I just making that up? Am I making that up? I'm going to fact check that one too. We'll, uh, we'll make a list. What distance apart are we? How, how long is the road? We're 15 now. 50 metres? 15. 15. Depending, like, the more nervous you are and stuff, and the less people you are, yeah. the more distance. We're going to say at least 15. The closer you want to get to that fucked up terrain, the more I will probably keep okay. the rope tight. Yeah. And it's like, hang, yeah. hang back and you can do whatever you want. Yeah. So, so for my discerning customers, fucked up terrain means with, big with crevasses. Yeah, an artist going straight into them. With an artist falling down a crevasse, yeah. Which is definitely what we don't want. Being too excited about, there is a hole here. <laughs> about, about painting, yeah. <laughs> but you demeanors... So right now it's pretty exciting. We've got, um, we're coming up to the piece of the first bit of glacier that we want to look at. And just gonna have a peek in there. See if it's safe enough to look at and paint and, and uh, take it from there. That's basically the aim is today is get in amongst the ice and that's what's really inspiring me so looking forward to it. What are you doing Dan? I'm trying to put my easel up but it's just sinking. We want to see some action. We're filming, we want to see some action. <laughs> yeah, basically you're just watching me tying things down so I don't move. Oh, down there. Start down in. into that hole. See him again tangled up, sort of thing. I like how a wooden leg. How are you doing, Dan? I'm ready for another sandwich and a ski. Yeah, a bit dizzy as well. I'm not sure if it's the altitude or lack of sandwich. Probably the lack of Swedish sandwich. Yeah. But? but yeah, I've started a painting. Yeah. Which sort of resembles a lot of a lot of blue. Yeah. And ice. So I just need, I think, another day on it probably to get some get some forms. 
uh, it's exciting terrain. We've got a, a quick preview. And I'm, and I'm looking forward it's to this. this evening. Here we go. Yeah, let's see what we get. Yeah. See if we make it in time. Yeah. Alright, we've finished uh, working on the first painting. Well, I have. Robert was sitting there eating sandwiches and looking after me, making sure I didn't disappear down any crevasses. Uh, so it's all good. And now we're heading down this valley. I'm going to switch the camera around. Do you know how long ago they built the hut? No, how long ago they built the hut? No idea. So that, as you can see the people in front of us, we're going up these stairs, up to the top of the... And that's how far the glaciers descended since they built the hut, I imagine. Is that right? We'll Google check it. <laughs> I think off things. I prefer being on the ice. Uh, yeah. Uh, halfway there, he says. Let's do that another day. Oops. Oops. Yeah. You're joining us on day two, in the morning. Just come out of the cabin, which is up there. And uh, got to walk down the steps and uh, back onto the glacier now. About 7.30 in the morning, we are in front of this amazing glacier peak behind us. Um, what's the name of the one on the right, Robert? So that's the Lechehorn in, in the distance there, the high one. And you see the morning sun hitting the mountains behind us, there's Robert. Every now and then you walk across a piece of snow that creaks, so there might be a cave underneath you. We're just approaching some glacier which looks, again, yeah. just very broken up and Robert's explained to me that okay. basically uh, there is a risk of falling down a crevasse so if that happens, yeah. if, okay. if he disappears down into a crevasse, that I should stay still, um, put as much weight down as possible, get my ice axe in the snow and wait for him to climb back out and if, if I fall in, um, probably just relax, chill and wait for him to come and get me out, especially if we've got a heavy bag on. We just got to walk across that huge plateau. If you've read the blog, you'll see how big it is. Uh, it takes about three hours, and then we arrive at the <laughs> oh, Hey, it's filming! Uh -huh. You're on camera, dude! Doing, just trying to find things in my pocket. Mm. So after years of searching, I've now found the perfect blend. I don't know if you can see it here. Some honey rolls, some M&Ms, and some salted nuts. Lovely. I'm gonna give some to your artist now. That's your blister. My blister's good. My blister's, yeah. It's much better than yesterday. Yesterday I could barely fall off that I just don't know what He's a bit of a city boy. We're working on that. <laughs> no name for this. But I'm, I'm enjoying filming this. If I fall, it's going to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, you're probably gonna enjoy that even more, but this is called extreme skiing.
You think you're the most experienced butler I've ever seen? <laughs> like, a pallet in one hand, a camera in the same hand. I'll give you this. Place wherever you want to. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, I need more rope. All right, coming with you. Coming with you. <laughs> Go on then. Thank you. Back in business. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. It's breakfast time with Robert Lonnell. And he's, uh, well, basically eat what you can find. Strawberry jam on toast with salami. Is it salami? Salami, I think. Salami. A bit of coffee. Some milk. Some green tea. My plate's a little bit normal, I have to say. So far. So far, so far, yeah. <laughs> Wrapped up warm with double gloves. <laughs> you got my painting arm when you do that on the photo we took. <laughs> yeah, stunning. Yeah. It's a good rope. Good enough for an English painter. It'll hold I'm, me. I'm in it as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just setting up the painting stuff. Robert's going further back so he can get into the sun. Dan is entering the sun in three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is his objective for the day. This is our friend that just popped up off the hill. So Dan is now trying to sort out his wind issues. Yeah, we'll start with your shoelaces or something basic. I can do my shoelaces. Feeling good about this? <laughs> yeah. Once I've been brave enough to take my gloves off, get my brushes out, and then I'll start painting. Right now, if I take my gloves off. After about five seconds, can't, can't feel the ends of my fingers. Back to speed painting. So I'm just filling out, just dancing. And Robert, take us home. Skiing down, love them. Depends on you. Depends on me. <laughs> you couldn't think of a better way to get home from work, could you? Oh, this is okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's just, it's just so big. <laughs> well, I just took a photo of you, and you just disappear in the scenery. That's it, four days in the mountains, almost done. And uh, I think we're both looking forward to uh, uh, a, probably a burger when we get to the town at the bottom. Yeah. The rest, yeah. is, the rest is okay. This is the output sandwich lunchbox. We've got Swiss sausage, Swiss bread, a baby bell. I'm not sure if they're Swiss or not. No idea. That's definitely Swiss. It's a sort of cake with marzipan through the middle of it. And, of course, a stick of baby Classic sandwich. Yeah.